Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendra and welcome back to B10X. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into comparing XLOOKUP with alternative lookup functions and libraries. Now we all know that Excel is a powerful tool and mastering different lookup functions can significantly boost your efficiency. But before we jump into that, I have something valuable to share with you. B10X has an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day to day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you are not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's get started with our main topic. We'll begin by exploring some of the fundamental Excel lookup functions. We'll bring down VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, each with a practical example to ensure a clear understanding of their applications. So let's see how a VLOOKUP works. In this example, you can see here we are having data about salesperson, their ID, then date, after that sale amount, then commission. So we have to find the Arjun Reddy's commission. So let's find out here. I'm going to use VLOOKUP. First of all, we have to select lookup value here, Arjun Reddy, then table of array. After that column index number here, we are going to get the commission for this salesperson. So it's in one, two, three, four, five, fifth column. So let's enter that and we want exact match. You can see Arjun Reddy's commission is 1330. Let's check that one. As you can see 1330. Now let's look at the HLOOKUP practical example. So same data but here in horizontal rows. So we want to find Arnav Sharma's commission here. So let's do that. Here I'm just going to use HLOOKUP. First of all, lookup value is Arnav Sharma. Then table array. Then row index number, here commission is in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fifth row, okay. Then we have to select exact match. Here let's confirm this thing, Arno Sharma's commission is 716 and it's correct. Now, before we dive deeper into the topic, I would like to tell you that AI is reshaping industries and it's crucial to adopt. In just a few years, we have witnessed significant job transformations. AI is not replacing jobs, it's transforming them. If you want to remain indispensable in your career, you need to embrace AI. Our two hours Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop is designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills to leverage AI effectively. Take control of your career trajectory and future-proof your skills. Click the link in the description box below to secure your spot now. 
Now let's get back to our comparison of XLOOKUP and alternative lookup functions. Now let's shift our focus to the star of the show, XLOOKUP. I'll guide you through this function with five different examples showcasing its versatility and efficiency in handling various lookup scenarios. By the end of this segment, you'll have a solid grasp of how XLOOKUP can revolutionize your data searching game. As you can see here we are having the same data but salesperson column is at the end. So if we use VLOOKUP here, you can check this thing out. First of all, we have to select the lookup value here, Zara Khan. Then table array, I'm going to select the entire table. Then column index number, here commission is in fourth column. Let's enter four and we want exact match. As you can see, we got the error. So let's try same thing with XLOOKUP. XLOOKUP, first of all, lookup value, Zara Khan, then lookup array, salesperson names, then what we want to return, we want to return commission. After that, we are not going to give if not found. So we want exact match. So Zara Khan's commission is 2093. Let's check that. As you can see here, we look up failed, but X look up passed. Let's look at our next example in XLOOKUP. Here you can see we are having the same data, but we are going to find the commission of Narendra. But let's see, Narendra is not present right in this data. So if we use VLOOKUP here, anyhow VLOOKUP won't work here in this scenario. So we can't. Uh, give any output there we just get an error so let's try the same thing with xlookup what we should give output if the specific here narendra is not present right in the data so we should be able to throw the output that this uh, salesperson is not present so let's do that So here lookup value is Narendra, then lookup array is salesperson, here return array is commission. So if not found, what we have to give the output, salesperson is not there, salesperson is not found it sounds good right okay we want exact match so if Narendra is not present we'll get salesperson is not found so let's replace this thing with Arno Sharma so we are getting the commission so this is the one thing which we can do with uh, XLOOKUP but we can't do with we look up. Let's check our next example in XLOOKUP. So let's take Om Patel for this example. So we want to find the sale amount and commission. So let's do that. So here I'm using XLOOKUP. So here lookup value is Home Patel. So let's select the lookup array. Then we have to return the sales amount and commission. So let's select both of these. And 
we want exact match as you can see we got the both values with just one x lookup now let's go to our next example here i'm not going to use the full name from company so for example i'm just going to use tata instead of tata motors limited so i'm just going to use wipro instead of wipro limited so in that case how this thing works let's see for this example let's uh, do for itc okay itc here i'm just going to use x lookup here lookup value will be itc so here what we have to do is after selecting lookup value you have to type ampersand then double quote star double quote comma lookup array company names then here written array will be sale amount then we are not going to view this one if not found here we have to select wildcard character match so let's do that here you can see so we just gave itc for instead of itc limited and the sale amount we got 8054 we got the correct value now let's look at our last example for this example i'm going to use aditya joshi uh, as a salesperson so let's enter the year as 2020 or like 2022 and here we have to find the commission of aditya joshi in 2022 so let's do that here I'm just going to type X lookup. So lookup value will be Aditya Joshi. Then lookup array. This one. Then return will be. So before selecting the return array, what we have to select is year. So in that particular he, how much commission he has made, right? So here I'm just going to use another X lookup then here lookup value will be here and lookup array is this one and so we have to give the return array right this is going to be the return array and i'm just going to close this thing so you can see aditya joshi in 2022 made this much of commission so let's check that so that's right so this is the dynamic one you can change it however you want so now let's see the however no tool is perfect so it's essential to acknowledge x lookups limitations we'll discuss these drawbacks to provide you with a balanced view helping you decide when to use X lookup and when to explore alternative options so in this case for example we want to find the commission so how much commission does Arno Singh made in this years so whenever it comes to do the sum of the values we can't do with the X lookup so we have to look for another way of doing it so we we can't add values using x lookup or any other lookup functions so this is the one of the limitation of x lookup and that's it for now as we wrap up i hope you found this comparison insightful remember mastering these tools is about staying relevant in the professional landscape don't forget to like, comment and share this video if you found it helpful. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel for more informative content. And of course, 
check out the workshop link in the description box below to elevate your skills to the next level. We'll see you there. Thank you.